Hello, friends. What do you know about porcupines? Those who believe that porcupines are the tropical relative of the hedgehog are mistaken. This definitely isn't the case. Hedgehogs and porcupines belong to different orders. Therefore, their notorious spines are completely different. Hedgehogs can't draw in their quills and can't break off their tips. Porcupines are one of the largest members of the rodent family. The special feature of the porcupines are their spines, which are the longest of all other mammals. The length of them reach half a meter and are 0.07 centimeters thick. When the porcupine attacks an enemy, the quills go up. The porcupine's tail is an interesting anatomical phenomenon. It has hollow spines at its ends, which make a rumbling sound, sort of like a rattle. These animals have excellent hearing. They can hear the sound of fruit falling to the ground at great distances. The weight of an adult porcupine usually doesn't exceed 25 kilograms, and the length of their body varies between 60 and 80 centimeters. They live in rocky areas with lots of vegetation. Porcupines feed on roots, tubers, and fruits that can be found on the ground. Porcupines look rather cute when they're eating, as they hold their food with their forepaws. Porcupines prefer a solitary lifestyle. Having won the attention of a female during the mating season, the porcupine male occupies someone else's hole or digs out his own to ensure the safety of the expectant mother and offspring. Porcupine burrows are real apartments. They're up to 10 meters long and are located at a depth of 5 meters underground. They usually have a couple of extension rooms. The female settles in one of the extensions, preparing to give birth to two to three porcupettes. 115 days later, the little animals are born. They start independently eating solid food just a few weeks after being born. Although this rodent is a rather peaceful creature, it is better not to joke with it as its quills can penetrate deep into the body and it's very hard to remove them without assistance. An inflammation of the wounds after a run-in with this cute animal is very common. For these reasons, porcupines are attacked mainly by large cats and only in cases when the cats are very hungry. Visitors of the Kruger National Park in South Africa got an opportunity to observe an unusual battle between a leopard and a porcupine. The hungry predator tried to attack the rodent for an hour and a half, but each time it did, all it managed to do was hit the rodent on the quills on its back. It was a completely unprecedented sight. The fight lasted about 90 minutes, during which the leopard took three short breaks in order to lick its wounds caused by the spine stuck in its paws, after which it tried to attack again. Eventually, they each went their own way. It was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience, said one of the eyewitnesses to the encounter. And this lion pride thought that they had found easy prey, but that wasn't the case. No one wanted to go into an actual attack fearing the dangerous quills, and after a little time, the lions lost interest in the rodent. And here, the lioness decided to attack the porcupine on its own. The porcupine tried to run away, but the lioness attacked it anyway, and immediately got a serving of spines in the neck and paw. That ended its attack, and the porcupine fled while the lioness was left to lick its wounds. And this episode shows a fearless lion who was probably very hungry. The predator has caught a porcupine, and despite the many spines in its face, it didn't let go of its prey. Here we see how a grizzly bear was looking for easy prey and came across a porcupine. The predator confidently approached the rodent and started sniffing this unusual thorny creature. But the porcupine didn't wait around and immediately released its spines into the bear's nose. The curious bear ran away. And here's another brave and very curious bear. I don't think it'll ever come near a porcupine again. Another porcupine was filmed by a random eyewitness. The porcupine found something edible near the shore. 
But then, something went wrong. An unknown creature started dragging the porcupine into the water. It tried to resist, but all of its attempts were unsuccessful. The creature drowned the poor rodent. When people came closer to find out what was happening in the water, they saw a huge turtle, which had already started eating its thorny prey. This time, the spines were of no help. Next, we see an owner walking his beloved pet, and when the dog noticed the porcupine, there was no stopping it. The dog just kept running around the rodent, and all of its attempts to bite the porcupine ended with more spines in its nose and paws. When the owner finally managed to drag the dog away, it ended up looking like this and needing a long treatment. Look at this unlucky bulldog, which the owner was unable to stop in time. The dog tried to bite the porcupine and also got a bunch of quills in its curious nose. Next is the python that decided to attack a porcupine. But nothing came of this attack. The python quickly realized that this enemy was too tough for it. And here's another python that shows how an attack on a porcupine can end. This poor fellow now looks like a long hedgehog. The body of the python is covered with quills and it has very little chance of survival. And here, you can see the consequences of a battle between a python and a porcupine. The snake even managed to win at first. It did swallow the porcupine, but the sharp spines probably pierced it from the inside and the python simply died. An autopsy of the snake revealed that there really was a porcupine inside. And this surveillance camera was placed in front of the animal feeder. Porcupines were the first to arrive. Then came a bear. Surprisingly, the porcupines turned out to be so fearless that they didn't even consider leaving. And when the bear decided to take the food, the stubborn porcupines almost took it away. And in the next episode, we see how a fearless honey badger attacked a porcupine nest. The porcupine immediately tried to scare the honey badger off by exposing its sharp quills, but the honey badger simply ignored it. The porcupine tried to attack the honey badger, but it didn't even move. By the way, porcupine spines can easily pierce through an aluminum can. It takes other animals, such as leopards, a long time to heal their wounds after an encounter with a porcupine, and they may even die. But the honey badger's skin looks like steel. The honey badger completely ignored the porcupine and continued to feast on its babies, whose quills were still soft and couldn't save them from being eaten. Unfortunately, wild nature can be very cruel. Nature also made sure that porcupines didn't lose their quills in defense. There are four genera of porcupines, which includes 20 species, and one of these species have special scales that form notches at the tip of the quills. They turn the quills into a sort of harpoon that breaks off easily. In another species, a brush of scales has formed, which prevents the quill from entering deeply into the enemy's body, thus allowing the porcupine to either pull the needle out or break off its tip. Thus, the enemy always gets taught a harsh lesson, while the porcupine gets to keep its spines, which are important for them, because new quills take a few weeks to grow. Also, porcupines are born with teeth and spines. However, their quills are still rather soft and mostly white immediately after birth, but they harden within just a few hours. An adult porcupine has about 30,000 spines, which change every year. And that's all for today, friends. Share your thoughts on today's episode in the comments. Like the video, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.